So as you see, this is the logo. What we're doing. What's funny is I think it may have even been on this. I think my uh, you know, you had to get patches sewn on. By the way, this is a show you roll. I think it's like a three hundred dollar geek. I took the patches and I used to pin them. Well, I started pinning them because the Armenian lady, that seamstress, what she did was that she put, she gave me the geek, but they were going that way mm -hmm. and the feet were down. And I asked her, I said, no, 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 this is supposed to be parallel with the bottom. She goes, oh, I thought they were scuba divers coming up. Yeah, well, like, hey, scuba divers, and what kind of scuba divers are these? Yeah. He's coming up for air. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm not scuba diving. It's not a wetsuit. All right, look, the other situation that happens is this. Look, you go knee to the belly, he starts rolling away, but you can't catch this arm right here, okay? But you have this right here, okay? First thing what you should always do is threaten the collar. Yes, right there. And now from here, look, I'm gonna grab this wrist palm here and I'm gonna start torquing it out that way, okay? And again, I'm gonna change that angle, okay? This is even more effective because your hands don't get all tied up. I'm gonna start bringing this out here. See that, this hand's already sliding in. Same motion, same here, same here, same here, same here. Get your knees. I insert my hooks here. I'll go back here. This hand, even if you start to bring, you lose control of it, you already have the neck, okay? So if you can't reach this hand right here, and it keeps it away here, just to bring here, you can eventually claim it right here. Grab the whole hand, okay? I don't wanna grab it here, my thumb kinda gets in the second I grab it, it's like a pull and twist. Yeah. And as I go here, Okay, I'm walking, see that foot, bring it over here, and I'm pushing him here. He's gonna wanna go to his knees, because he doesn't wanna go flat, and I wanna let him go to his knees, because that's where my hook comes in, and that's where the space stays. Okay. And I'm not even pushing that much on him, but his hand is stuck underneath his chest. So even here, I can pull this out, and I can apply a lot of pressure. get this hand here, but you get this one here. Look, I keep this one through. Whether I have the collar or not, I really don't want it because the collar is going to restrict you from doing a really deep choke. Look, my left hand is almost at his neck here. Okay? I keep this here because I'm gonna, if I roll him forward, he's going to roll onto the choking arm. Look, I push this out. See, I open up my elbow. My left foot goes right by his hip here, and I start pushing him. He's going to want to go to his knees right here. And that's when it all the magic happens. So up here, move it all to the right. Move up in the air. All right, so shoot that left hand in as you're torquing this one out. Whenever you want to get them on their back, okay? You don't want to pull it in this way. You always want to bring it out this way. So there's constant tension on that wrist, ah, right here. And now he's not gonna go anywhere right here. And he's got a big problem. It's the whole hand, why do you control him that hand? Uh, you need to. Okay. <laughs> the last one. Remember, you need the belly. Go here, sit away. Go deep here. Look almost like here, so it's not threatening here. Drive forward here, the left foot, right foot, post with the head, always with the forehead here. Look, here, walk that left hand in more.
Correct. And, and if, if it was pressure on your chest, when that arm is pinned, 